Let's say Katala Don Boz, now I mean say Wahala Don Shele. We get uh, the Kajati people, we actually they uh, make this film, they very, very possible inside the house. We get the director and producer, Emma Edusio. We get the actor, Mike Afalarin, and we also get Chimeze Imo inside the house, actor for Inside Katala. Good to have you. Thank you for thank having you, thank me. You. Quickly, I will speak with the director. Tell us more about Katala. Um, Katala is a film about a day in the life of four young boys who live in Ojo Elegba. One of them steals his uncle's precious kabu kabu and then they take it to a party and wreck the car. So the story is about how they hustle to raise 20,000 naira to fix the car in six hours before the uncle comes back from work. It's, wow. it's a story of Katala Wahala from beginning to the end. Tell me, first this of all, and again, again <laughs> what did you give birth to this script? Um, I, I, I worked as a journalist with the BBC and Bloomberg, a video journalist, and I would go into the slums and see people from these low-income communities, but they, would have, they had a sense of pride, they had a sense of community. Like, I'll give you an instance where we interviewed one of the chiefs from Makoko, and he says, they burn us on top water, we go die for this water, that this place now are VGC. So it was very different from the narrative that people will give out there of people from the slums being destitute. Yes, they have their social problems, yeah. but they have, they, ha they have built a coping mechanism. And I want to sh wanted to show the tenacity of people from these low-income areas, tenacity of people from the slums, that you know it's not only about the, the gore, but these people have, are, are strong. These people are tenacious. And now is why I decided to make the story, Katala. Amazing. Now, let me speak with Michael Fulari. Now, looking at you now, very quiet, <laughs> gentle, I don't like Wahala kind of person that you be. For this movie, you know, she was saying that so you be for the movie. Oh, well. How was it like to be that role? Um, it was it was an amazing experience playing um, Chikodi. I played Chikodi in Kasala the movie, and um, Chikodi is quite different from who I am mm -hmm. in, in real life. I mean, Chikodi is actually Igbo, I'm Yoruba, so you know it was it took a lot of um, getting into the character. But working with Emma and working with you know the my fellow cast um, on the film was it was it made the work really easy for me. I mean, it was quite easy to you know blend in, sync in chemistry, and then bond and poof, just set it off like that. All right, Chimezi, I'm not saying all day hard for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it wasn't hard. No, I mean, um, I, 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 me, I feel say, um, being on Casala and a blessing to me, you know, as soon as I see the script, I was drawn into it. And I can't like my character well, well because now something way really different from which I don't they play before. And when I see things like that, I did a quick, quick jump on top. I'm told it was exciting, say, I mean, they act with Mike and the other, um, Emeka, one Borocha, and Tony Watigbe, you know. so. And um, before then, we don't do for one set before. So the, the, the chemistry was there for us. And thanks to our amazing director here, we can make the team day even much easier for us. You know, so it was really, really an amazing experience. Emma, let's talk about your casting. Now, we don't see a lot of movies whereby you, the people believe, say, if you don't use the popular faces, you're not going to actually blow. But I see you using a lot of talented um, faces for inside this movie. Tell us how you just select your cast. When I was shooting the film, I knew that I didn't want to work with old faces. I wanted to work with new, fresh, young faces. And I, I said something to myself that I wouldn't go out and find these actors. I'll let them come to me. So I put out a casting call, put out an audition call. It was even funny in the audition call. I said I was looking for young men from between the ages of 18 to, um, to 20, 15, 15 to 18. 18. And I said, wow. if you have yam leg with hair, please don't call. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very, very funny. That was the criteria. <laughs> yeah, that was the criteria. And then this, the three of them walked in the first time, and I knew immediately. It was just like my script, when they read, coming to life. And then this um, Mike came in later on, and I told them to, there was a scene with Abayomi Alvin. And I said, Abayomi, take off your shirt and, and bully these guys. And he said, no, don't. Oh, and they were all kneeling down with their hands in the <laughs> air. <laughs> and I knew immediately that this, it was like a sign that this movie is supposed to be made. And the choice, I, I knew it was a vengeance. I wanted to rebuild against everything Nollywood stood for and make something fresh, something new, something very that the average Nigerian can relate to, something that Lagosians can, can call their own. And then so far, the choices has been amazing. We've traveled to almost 24 international film festivals. Wow. We've played it. It was selected to UNESCO. Mm. We traveled to Paris. We've traveled to 24 international Tanzania, Zimbabwe. And it's, it was an amazing decision because I wanted to make something fresh, something new. And we have so many young, amazing talents who are very dynamic. And I wanted to bring that to the screen. And how did you come about with the finances? Because I know since <laughs> we made this kind of movie, <laughs> it's not that easy. My sister, it was... You, you, 
you don't wait on the sidelines for for people for the best opportunity you take what you have I've been very fortunate enough to work as a video journalist with the BBC, with Bloomberg. I've been very fortunate to work as a producer and director for Ebony Light TV. I went to film school and I built skills as a cinematographer and director. So I threatened family. I told my sister, I'll kill you if you don't give me this money. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave me, she gave me like 200K here. And I had this investor who, who really saw my growth and he said, okay, take this bulk of money and go and make this film. So in order to save cost, because I was so passionate about this story, I literally produced, directed, shot and edited the film to bring it to light. Because look, it's a fight for Nollywood. It's a fight. I think that we as directors have a responsibility to not just to make people escape, but to bring reality. And it's a film that shows Nigerians that look, our existence is we are strong people. This is our existence. We're not just laugh, people to laugh. We are stronger. We're tenacious people. And I think it's high time that the screen on the screen, we start showing characters that youth can relate to. Yes, if you want it to be comedy, let it be comedy. If you want it to be anything, let it be. But let, them, let, let there be a conversation of who we are, the strength, and so that, you know, that we can grow as people. And that was the reason why I'm deciding to fight to make this kind of movie. I really like that. You need to go see that movie. Now, apart from the <laughs> fact, say, you they entertain people, I know, say, for every profession, there are challenges. Yes. Now, Mike, tell me some of the challenges where you, as a young actor, they face for inside the industry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it plenty. I know, like, <laughs> plenty. <laughs> challenges plenty, but, you know, with the, um, with the, with the passion and the in intent where we carry come inside the industry, we, we, we just guys, you know, fight, like she talks, say, we could fight, and sure say, okay, we get the best of what we want. Um, I mean, the, the, the remuneration is not what we want, well, what we would like it to be. The, the working conditions are not the best, but, you know, um, we, we, stick, we stick with it because it's something we love, I mean, and we, we continue to fight for it. All right, Chimeze. Now, you don't talk some of the challenges. I know so you get plenty more. <laughs> but how you don't manage to overcome those challenges as a young actor, too? Well, thank God for passion. I think my passion now, my driving force since I started the act. Because, like she said, she called for audition. And you know this normal saying, ah, no go audition, they no go pick you. They don't get who they won't pick already. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't hear that plenty of times. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we, we see, say, even if they don't get who they don't pick, when I go, they could change their mind. Mm -hmm. go. <laughs> you understand? So thank God for passion. A passion, they drive me. And every other young actor, we feel, say, we, many producers feel, say, their face, no feel self -in. But look at Castella today, traveled around the world, you know. So thank God for passion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Emma, what should we expect from you? Any other thing um, where you they cook? Ah, uh, plenty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> plenty. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about, about, about um, what's happening in Hollywood. It's no longer about Nigeria. It's now global. Very true. And I'm very excited. And I think that this has given me the validation that my voice is valid. Castella was refused by the cinemas at first. And it started traveling, and they gave us the opportunity to put it in the cinemas. So I'm very excited that, look, now Hollywood may have the emo, no be. Abby. If small Casala fit travel 24, mm -hmm. today they go London, tomorrow Abby. they go because of film, and I know yeah. the phone call. I'm sure that there's so much more. So what we're working on, and we're working on our next film, Emni, which is the Yoruba word for spirit. Mm. And that one is massive, so we're really excited about that. Congratulations. Yes. Now, when we fit watch Casala for our cinema? Ah, Casala, they come up, come up for the cinema for December 7. Yeah. And I have something to say. Okay. See, Nigerians, you people talk that you want, you are tired of Nollywood, you are you tired want of local, want content. local content. See, cinema, now business. If you know show, say, film, we get sense go fit make money, they no go put out for cinema. Exactly. So this is one film that has come to back to Nigeria. It's not that, okay, ensemble of actors or wanting, mm. wanting. These are people where put their passion. This film get repute. This film sweet. It win audience so choice. Go for watch them. Go watch them. Go December and watch 7. it. Support it. December 7, Kasala, the movie. Go and yes. watch it. Una need to see this movie. Thanks a bunch, Emma Ediosil, the You're producer welcome. and director, Michael Falarin, an actor inside them, and also Chimeze Imo for joining us in the house. Thank, Thank you very much. And don't forget, much. say you need to go watch Casala come December 7th so that you go understand how this movie they're very, very interesting. See you again tomorrow. I still remember we a Higiano sorry. To enjoy more of this, our Ubon get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.